Hello everyone, this is going to be a quick video going over everything you need to learn to build apps in 2022 without any prior coding knowledge. All right. So we created this roadmap resource. Uh, it's on it's a huge list of things and launched it on Twitter and it received a, an amazing amount of interest and lots of uh, amazing commendations as well. So I thought I'm going to make a video going over the different parts as well and elaborate it a bit more. All right. Okay, so just a short, quick overview who this is for. Anyone without a software or coding background, anyone interested in making web apps without coding, what it is, it's a comprehensive resource. It consists of all the resources you need, all the skills you need and uh, in your arsenal and you can get uh, cracking started and you can just start making your own custom software without coding yourself or understand about no, no code so that you can get others to build it for you. Uh, in a more efficient way. Uh, so quick background, uh, I run a no-code agency, ASCII Tech Labs. I'm based in Birmingham, UK, and uh, we've developed, we've worked on over 50 projects in the past two point five years, two and a half years. Uh, I have a link tree because I've been, I'm active on uh, Twitter, LinkedIn, YouTube, uh, and email. So uh, I thought I'd just share, a, you can, you'll get a link to these slides as well uh, uh, in the description below, all right. Okay, so uh, the first step of the journey is to understand what is no code, okay? In a nutshell, you don't need to know how to code to build apps anymore, okay? It's a new type of web development, graphical interface, uh, you don't need to, so, so the old way of, okay, let's just a quick short example. The old way of making a button that just sends an email would take a lot of learning curve and take a lot of time to do. In the new way, drag and drop, send email, start workflow, send email. Who is this email going to? What's the subject? What's the body? And done. Okay. Preview. This page works. Click the button. The send email action works. Okay. That it's in a nutshell is the power of no code. Okay. Being able to do that without learning code itself and just actually build apps. So how does no code work? There are many, many, many platforms. It's just an abstraction layer on top of code. It's not like there's no code running. It's just in the background. It's just an abstraction layer at the top. So uh, uh, an analogy I give is that of a tractor and a farmer. So a farmer can farm by hand and a tractor can just drive a tractor and just plant seeds throughout the whole field very quickly. A farmer can walk through the whole field and slowly plant all the seeds. So in this case, the tractor is the no code platform. The no code developer is the tractor driver and you just go way faster. You're still doing the same thing. The tractor is just an abstraction. It has all this machinery around it uh, to plant the seed in the farm. Okay. So uh, what are the pros of no code? It's a, it has a shorter learning curve. Uh, there's a reduced cost because it takes less time. So think of, again, the tractor analogy of farming by hand, depending on the cost, if you have a tractor, it'll take you one day to go through a large farm. If you're doing it by hand, it may take you five days. Days cost a lot more. So uh, reduced cost, better agility. You can just develop features faster, increase productivity. It's easily changeable. Like I can just make changes easily to this button. Okay, you know what? Instead of send email, send user an email, done. Change reflected, change reflected, done. So it's just faster. Uh, faster path to launch. Uh, all I did was drag, drop, click preview, done. If I click deploy version to live, the deploy will be done. Okay, so it abstracts a lot of the complexities and it's faster. What can you build from no code? Many, many, many things. Web applications or mobile applications, depending on which platform you're going for, or websites as well. So e-commerce websites, appointment scheduling, marketplace, listing, Gumtree style, dashboard for SaaS, social messaging, uh, we've built most of these different types of apps ourselves and there's loads and loads of people doing it as well. So uh, just a quick short list of popular no-code platforms. Adalo is good for mobile apps. Uh, Airtable is good. It's like spreadsheet on steroids. So if you're using Google Sheets to do stuff, Air check out Airtable. Uh, you can add lots of automations, dashboard views and everything. Bubble, that's our favorite platform. Uh, we use Bubble to build client projects. It handles design, logic, and data, uh, and API integrations. I'll go more into Bubble in the next video. 
uh, software is great. Software combines with Airtable to make a front end. It's really great for many use cases as well. Glide uh, can make mobile apps. I think web apps as well, just generic desktop ones. Webflow is great for websites. What do I mean by website? So whatsapp.com, this is a website. It's just a marketing landing page, just talking about describing the app. It's not the actual app itself. Uh, the web app itself. But if you open Twitter, that's that's like an interactive sign in, login, profile, post. I post a tweet, it goes live. Uh, I, I can't like log in here. I can't do much here. This is just a marketing website. That's a web app. So Thunkable is a good one, uh, especially uh, like it has like the Scra MIT Scratch block interface. Uh, I think that's good for mobile apps as well. Uh, and there's many, many, many more, more as well. So uh, you can, there's, we have a detailed blog post on what is no code. Uh, as part of the roadmap, there is a no code section with lots of different helpful uh, kind of uh, articles, resources. Forbes has an article saying no code is the future of software. Here are five thing, critical things to drive success. So it's all over the place now. All right, uh, thank you very much. This was a quick intro and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks, bye.